This is examples part five. So we're now in the last example of this section, which will be example seven. Um, here it says find the limit. So again, we have another problem. This portion of the problem does not have an I, so I can take it out of the submission. So I end up with three over N times this submission. Submission, I'm sorry. And then I'm going to split this up as well. So I get the limit as n goes to infinity. And I'm going to have the summation of um, the constant 3. And I am going to take out the part that doesn't have an i, which is 1 over n. And then I have the summation of um, i. So I'm going to use my formulas. And the formula for 3 is just for constant is just 3 times n. The formula for i is going to be um, n times n plus 1 over 2. So these n's will cancel. And I will go ahead and distribute this 3 over n to each of those two terms. So 3 times 3 is 9n over the n plus n plus 1 over n times 2, which is 2n. And then here, they almost have the common denominator, so I'm going to multiply this fraction by 2 and 2. And I get 18n plus n plus 1 over 2n. Now, when I calculate, I get the limit as n goes to infinity. of, this would be 19 in, oh, I did make a mistake here. It would be 3 times 1, which is 3 times the n plus 1. So really here, because a numerator times a numerator, so really here if I would have 3 times n plus 1. So I won't have 19 in. We'll see what we do have. We will have 18n plus 3n plus 3 if I distribute this positive 3. Then, let's see here, we will have 21n plus 3 over 2n. Then the strategy is to divide by the highest um, exponent downstairs, which is just n. So I'm going to be taking this and dividing by um, in the numerator and then dividing by n in the denominator. So if I simplify that, I get 21 plus 3 over n over 2. As n goes to infinity, this fraction will go to 0, leaving me with just 21 over 2. So the limit of this um, summation is just going to be 21 over 2.